Hello and welcome, Silrace here with Terrain Workshop, and it's been a while, and frankly I needed a day's break from any and all video gaming. Sometimes I do need to take breaks too. So I made something instead, and I made a plant pot. You know, there is a uh, old school Terminator on the background to show all the scale differences, and it's a simple plastic palm tree, right? The point of this whole experiment, this whole thing, was the fact that sometimes it is really difficult to get greenery, plants and trees and whatnot, to fit in into futuristic terrain. So this is one take on being able to do just that. Since I am taking a slow dive into Infinity, I wanted some stuff which could be used on, you know, urban terrain and bring some plants into that, so I decided to make a plant pot. Like the barrel I showed previously, this one is also made out of a ball cap. You can basically get free ball caps from your friends by just asking them to give you a couple once they finish drinking their bottles empty. And you probably have some laying around the house as well, so this is cheap, easy materials to make stuff with. I wanted this thing to be modular, so I could put it anywhere on the battlefield. You can obviously make static ones if you want to and just glue it into a certain piece of scenery. I didn't want to do that with the first iteration of this thing. So instead I glued it into a miniature base, as well as drilled a hole, um, well, two holes, using a drill obviously, on it so I could pin it in place using a, you know, copper thread as well, to make sure that the base doesn't separate from the ball cap randomly when you are moving it around. And here is the other side of the drilled holes with the wire, you know, twisted together and then applied a little bit of glue to it to keep it in place. Now this bit takes a little bit longer to do obviously because there is some gluing involved, like real gluing and dry letting the glue dry. So I had a miniature sized palm tree around, so I figured I'll just use that, eh? You can use whatever plant you desire. So I glued it into the pot. And then I, you can see it actually, uh, I put in some pieces of blue insulation foam. You can just as well use styrofoam or simply fill it entirely with sand. It's entirely your call. I had some tiny pieces of blue insulation foam, so I stuck it in there to help fill the up the pot. And we have the final product after a little extra gluing and painting. So frankly, I just put in some rough sand and painted it black, and that's my stuff in the pot itself. And then I painted the pot. I decided to paint it metal in this case and do the base in a more of a light grayish color so it might match whatever uh, urban territory you might have around. The color is obviously entirely up to you if you want to make uh, the what I made black here into brown, into green, into gray, your call. And do whatever colors you want for the pan well, plant pot to fit in with the rest of your terrain if you already have something planned or made. Hopefully this was helpful on how to easily make very cheap plant pots. The only the expensive pot here is the plant itself and you can even make those out of, you know, paper if you so desire. I was just taking a look at some origami stuff for nice, easily, rather easily and cheaply made plants. Thank you very much for watching. 